<clears throat> Amy says, I have been going through a breakup and your videos have helped me a lot. But I see my ex daily and I really need advice on that. Okay, Amy, that's not a problem, but I wonder what advice particularly you're asking for. If it's something you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, which you know what to do, go on my site and go through the Skype and book an appointment we'll talk about it. But if it's something specific that you want to be addressed and it's not like in detail, well, maybe we can discuss it here. Amy says, I'm still in love with him, but he's not in love with me. Well, naturally, why would anyone want to love someone if he or she is not loved back? You should have a few different criteria for loving someone. One of which would be, I have to be loved back. I cannot love someone who doesn't love me. Be realistic. If you have any respect for yourself, if someone that you are infatuated with or someone that you had a relationship, someone that you love, does not reciprocate, well, that doesn't deserve your love. Why are you wasting your time? It's like saying, I keep putting the bricks on this land, but it keeps flopping down because it's a, it's a, a, a quicksand. If it's not going to be a good base, good foundation to build anything on it, why are you keep putting the bricks on it? It'll just be quicksand, go down, disappears. So if it's not holding it, there's no reason to keep building on it. So if the love that you give, nothing comes back, it doesn't deserve your love. Go and give your love to someone who is thirsty for it and appreciates it and wants to reciprocate, get to know you so you can build something on it. Not that you throw the love out and disappears. It's just like you talk to someone and that someone is actually talking to somebody else, doesn't even listen to you or hears you. That's a disrespect, isn't it? So have respect for yourself and move on. You don't have to love everybody just because you think so. People are as important as the strength of your desire for them. People are only as important to you as the strength of your desire for the pleasure that they may be offering or for whatever it is about them. So you handle, understand that this is a desire that makes that person important. Not that person's importance that actually makes him or her important. It is your desire for them that makes them important. Therefore, it is you who makes someone desirable, who makes someone important, to, to make someone to seem all that. It's not necessarily themselves unless they're doing something wonderful for you which then that's a different story but if it's only you that you've made god out of them because somehow you like them for whatever reason god knows could be sexual could be mental could be whatever it is but it's your desire your attention that has made them to seem so important not what they have done specifically to help humanity or help you or in some ways to show that they deserve your love. So have respect for yourself. It may all seem like a mystery to you right now, but you can always go to my YouTube channel where you will find over 300 videos on this subject and more. You can find out exactly why you feel the way you do and why your thoughts are the way they're reacting and the role of your psyche in all this. Plus, how to feel good again, become strong and get your confidence back and ready to move on. And more importantly, how to move on. And you will certainly be fine once you know how your mind works dear. If you still needed to talk to me one on one, that's always possible through my site, mindthatseekstruth.com. There you can book a Skype consultation time for us and we can chat about what's concerning you. This is what I do with all people who need it from all around the world.